Researchers at the University of Washington took a closer look at Tacoma's Northwest Detention Center and are, quote, deeply concerned. The University Center for Human Rights says it began looking into the immigrant detention center after the immigration advocacy group La Resistencia told them chemical agents were used against detainees in February. We wanted to look into how frequent uh, these kinds of incidents are and what are their human rights implications. During a press conference, the center's director, Angela Godoy, says the report points to three main areas of concern overuse of force against people with mental illness, use of force against detainees engaging in political speech, and the lack of documentation regarding alleged violations of their own rules. The GEO Group, the company that owns and operates the facility, pushed back against the report and released a statement denying wrongdoing. We strongly reject the allegations contained in the report by the University of Washington's Human Rights Center. The bias report is clearly part of a long-standing, choreographed, radical campaign to attack ISIS contractors, abolish ICE, and end federal immigration detention by proxy in the state of Washington. UW researchers were highly critical of crackdowns on detainees expressing their personal views, such as immigrants who have gone on hunger strikes to protest conditions. The study found protesters were retaliated against with physical violence and put in solitary confinement for long stretches as punishment. If people speaking out against the most violent and brutal retaliations against them for simply speaking their mind is permitted as a justification for the use of force, then we enter into the same cycles of escalating cruelty that our report documents. Maru Vialpando of La Resistencia says now she's hoping she can spread the word about what's happening in Tacoma's backyard. The system, the entire system is built so no one knows anything because they don't want to be accountable to anyone. Because once the truth is shining on this place, people get outraged and they fight against this. And this isn't the first time that the detention center has come under fire. Since 2016, researchers, the mayor of Tacoma, members of Congress, and even the governor have criticized how detainees are treated at this facility and have called for change. For now, we're live in Tacoma. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.